Okay, so today, oh, I've done okay again. Fudge cakes. Oh, I can't stop saying that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, where, where are we at? We are at the 23rd of the 3rd, 2018. <clears throat> and I'm going to do like a Big Brother style diary today. Oh, dear, dear, big bro dear, dear Fave in the Big Brother house. Uh, Dan's incredibly sick, throwing up everywhere. Uh, can't stop himself from being sick and having this stupid pleomorphic sarcomatide carcinoma. That is what my thing is called. Today in my vlog, I want to talk about what the hell is my cancer and what is it doing to me? What is it doing to me? How is it affecting me? Um, I'm really struggling to make this video today, so I hope you guys appreciate this video and I'm going to try and get through it whilst squeezing the hell out of something next to me uh, and not throw up. So yeah, here goes. Uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, I don't know why I went really high pitched. Uh, my name is Daniel, Daniel Thomas. Uh, I am shaking with pain. Uh, shaking with anxiety and worry, um, attacking this cancer fearlessly with comedy and stupidity. Uh, I have a thing called a sarcomatoid carcinoma. I'm sure that some two of you have looked it up. Well, I know some of you have because it's quite interesting the stuff you found, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, the types that I have are subtypes, which are pleomorphic sarcomatoid carcinoma, primary cutaneous carcinosarcoma and unknown sarcoma. So how we kind of like categorize this now is it's just an aggressive, horrible thing. Um, it is quite literally eating me alive, which I was never told by anyone would happen. Um, no one expected it to be this quick. Uh, you can probably see quite a dramatic change in me over the last couple of weeks if you look back. Well, if you look at the start of my vlogs, everything's completely different, especially the way I look. Um, <clears throat> I'm crazy in love with doing this vlog, but it is hard. Um, I'm so grateful for everyone who follows and has shared and everything as well. Uh, I don't know what the end point will be. Um, or anything like that. So it, it's interesting, but the pain for me today is high, um, and I've got stuff to solve it and sort it. Um, but I've got to this stage where, like, my body is irritating me, um, and it, that irritation is then making me kind of become very stiff, rigid. Uh, uncoordinated, um, very conscious of a lot of things, uh, nervousness outweighs what's going on. Um, it's just, it's just horrific. And when I watch these vlogs back, what's crazy for me is when I watch these vlogs back afterwards, I can see how s sick I am as opposed to usual me. And that's actually quite a hard thing to take in. And like, it's okay that if it, not many people understand cancer to the right degree or understand cancer in its reality or the truest form. Just because you have cancer doesn't mean you get chemo, doesn't mean you get radiotherapy, doesn't mean you get immunotherapy, doesn't mean that a diet will fix you, doesn't mean that anything will fix you. Sometimes the cancer can be so aggressive and so rapidly growing. It's like the other day we had this uh, CT scan, it showed three, three tumours. Now there's about 12. That is a rapidly growing cancer. Um, more than anyone ever thought. And from all accounts that now it's spread to certain places, the likelihood is I won't have much more than a couple of months left. Um, based on the way that it's uh, going through my body. 
um, unless we can find a way to fix this. And I obviously am going to fight and find a way. Um, but the pain and the discomfort level now is up here. And I try and avoid showing it to people who are close to me. And I try and just put on this whole brave face thing. But it's getting too hard now. Um, I just want to have my life back. I want to have everything back that I had. Um, I don't know. I'm enjoy. I, I just want to tell you as well what I enjoy out of this as well. I enjoy the fact that people are so supportive, so loving, so caring towards me, and so I don't know, just so awesome. Some people just send me like clips of videos or music and stuff, and it's just uplifting. It makes me feel good on a shockingly bad day um, but I don't know how to progress through this without being me I haven't got the time or energy to edit a video so I'm just talking to the camera um, I'm finding it hard to talk to the camera because I feel like I'm going to throw up um, and I I'm just trying to make the best of a bad, bad situation. And I'm hoping when the surgery's done that it will stop me from feeling this unwell. Um, and I'll be able to move forward with some other like treatment or some therapeutic treatment. Like maybe some chemo. Uh, we have been advised that potentially one type of chemo may work. Um, but it's, it's devastating. I used to be so ambitious and so, so flipping hyperactive and carefree and silly and, you know, me. I don't feel like I'm me anymore and I'm sure lots of people who are going through this whole situation as well know exactly what I'm saying, that it, it, you don't feel like you're you. But yeah, thank you everyone for just supporting me and being there, understanding everything. Um, I can't wait for this surgery now. I can't wait for it to get to a point where I can just try and be healthy, even if it's fake healthy. <sighs> I just want it. And you're all probably, ah. Oh, I've got so many things I want to talk about. You're all probably thinking, why do you continue to vlog when you're sick and stuff? Because people like to know how I am. You like to know how I am, don't you? And I like to keep you updated. I like doing this. I enjoy doing it. So, yeah. Thank you. It keeps me... Uh, getting out of bed for a bit every day and thinking about things and not just giving up. Like I say, don't give in, don't give up. And that's why I write so much. That's why I try and post pictures in places. That's why I try and do this whole, actually success is a, is a massive part of it, I think. I set myself a target that I never thought I'd hit in a million years and I already hit it. Um, I hit it within less than a, a month of setting that target. So I gave myself a year to hit that if I made it a year. So I'm well appreciative of everyone. Um, I never expected all this support. And there's other people out there who vlog daily or buy daily who are just as interesting and maybe more interesting than me. Um, I'm just grateful. Thank you. I'm going to be doing a lot more writing on my blog, which is peewitoms.com. Uh, all the research is going up next week whilst I'm in hospital, hopefully, along with a uh, load of uh, support stuff. Um, so, yeah, this is bigger than me now. Bigger than me. Thank you for inspiring me, guys. 
Thank you for being there. Thank you for being that big warm hug every day that I need. Um, and like they say, nobody puts baby in a corner. I don't even know if that's the right accent. I've gone into some uh, kind of weird accent. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Nobody puts Danny in a corner. Nobody puts Dan in a corner. Nobody is going to... I'm not going to give up, guys. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to let my body succumb to this. But at the moment, I feel like it is. Um, and it's painful and it hurts and it's upsetting and it's cruel. But yeah, for today... That's me done. I'm going back to bed for a bit, then going to my mum's. Uh, I'll do a vlog from there with my mummy, I think, for you all and my daddy. Because I know you like seeing them. And maybe my little brother, uh, who's got crabs. I know I say he's got crabs, he hasn't actually got crabs. It's just funny, and I know you will probably go to the dislike button and go... Psh, psh, psh. It's just funny. It's something fun in a mundane, horrible world. And he knows it's a joke. So it's good. And comedy is good for the soul. And I know I keep saying goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow, but I, I just get worried that I don't have that luxury sometimes. So thank you. Continue to share my stuff. Continue to bring people to this uh, lovely community of people. And... Thank you so much for your support, your well wishes, your beautiful um, just support. It means the world. Thank you. Bye.